Okay. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to do this talk. So I'm going to talk about um, the argument that data in, in relevant respects is like plastic. So both of these things are produced in large quantities. They have great benefits, they're very useful, but they also, once we take them at large scale, might have very harmful consequences. So some facts on plastic. 300 million tons of plastics are produced every year, which is equivalent to the weight of the entire adult population of the planet. Half of uh, those 300 million tons, 100 million tons, are used just once and then thrown away. That's what we call single-use plastics. Um, plastics have the capacity of being reabsorbed by the earth, but we are at a level of production where most of the plastics we produce cannot be reabsorbed. So a lot of the waste that we produce is here to stay with us on the planet. 8 to 12 million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans every year. Um, and so the waste that we have to deal with increases every year, pretty much. So how to deal with this? Sorry, <laughs> next slide. Um, so plastics obviously have great benefits. So if you had water today, there were plastic glasses. You could take them to the table, you could dispose of them after the talk. Nobody needs to wash them, so very useful. But there are also huge harms to use of plastic. For the planet, obviously, accumulation of waste. For animals, especially marine animals, there are microplastics that they absorb. And for humans, uh, for instance, when we eat fish, we might be absorbing some of these microplastics ourselves. And the problem is we keep producing those plastics. And although we might have moved to a recycling economy, we still haven't moved to a circular economy, which is an economy where we are reabsorbing all of the plastics we produce. Now data. Of, I think many of us know that a lot of data is produced. Uh, by 2020, uh, it is said that each individual will be producing 102 megabytes per minute of data. So data obviously has benefits. If I go on a trip to France, um, I can plan my trip. I uh, can know exactly where I am and I won't get lost, thanks Google. So uh, great benefits, but also great harms. Harms to my ability to participate to the political community and act as a citizen. Harms to my privacy. Harms to my customer behavior through being nudged by advertisements and price discrimination. And yet we keep producing, generating data, incentivizing business models that are heavily reliant on data production, data collection, data accumulation. Um, and the laws also act as financial incentives on this. So where are we comparing the two? Both of these things really useful. Both of these things over completely overproduced. Um, each of them at small scale seems to be great. L at large scale produces very abstract and large harms. The difference between them is that data is less visible than plastic. And so maybe we can use the example of plastic to think through some of the harms that data is causing to humanity today, the planet, us, um, et cetera. So each of these three individuals, corporations, and governments have obligations to try and curb the production of plastic and data, I argue. Um, and each of these three have separate types of obligations. So corporations are obviously at the core of why both data and plastic have been proliferating and they have resisted to government regulation, they engage in lobbying, um, and so they need to be taken, made responsible. Individuals also, so all of us are responsible through our consum consumer behavior and purchasing practices and also opt-ins and opt-outs on the internet for how data and plastic are proliferating. So we should check our consumer behavior. Governments uh, should pass laws that are more restrictive, perhaps through taxation and should also try to coordinate uh, the governance of plastic and data at a, an international level. So overall, my main claim is that we should make companies accountable, but also take responsibility for trying to curb overproduction of data. And in the same way, we should also do that for plastic. Thank you. <laughs>